Frustrated with the missing Bluetooth on-off option in Windows 10 or 11? I'll walk you through the steps to fix this issue and restore your Bluetooth settings. Search find and fix problems with Bluetooth devices in Windows search box. Click on Next and follow on screen instructions to let the troubleshooter find and fix the Bluetooth issues on your computer. You may need to restart your computer to save the changes on your computer. Press Windows key plus X2 and then click on the Device Manager. In the Device Manager window, expand the Bluetooth driver. When you see a confirmation window has appeared, click on Uninstall. Press Windows key plus R to launch Run Window. Now, type appwiz.cpl and then hit Enter. In Programs and Features window, scroll down through the list of installed applications and right-click on the application related to Bluetooth and then click on Uninstall. After rebooting your computer, the application related to Bluetooth will be auto-installed. Your problem should be fixed. Press Windows key and E key together to open File Explorer. Now, search FSquirt in the search box. Now, right-click on FSquirt.exe and copy. Now, paste it in an easy-to-use location such as desktop. Now, you can click on it anytime and use it for sending and receiving files. On the Device Manager window, click on the Action on the menu bar and then click on Show Hidden Devices. In the Device Manager Utility window, look for the Bluetooth option and expand it. Then, right-click on the generic Bluetooth radio. Then click on Update Driver. Here is a slight chance that you may not be able to locate the generic Bluetooth radio driver on your computer. In that case, look for the Intel Registered Trademark Wireless Bluetooth Registered Trademark Driver and follow the next steps. When you will be asked, how do you want to search for drivers? Click on Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Now, click on Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now, in this window, you will notice the drive. Choose the Bluetooth driver on your computer. Now, click on Next to install the latest driver. Wait for a while as the Bluetooth driver will be installed on your computer. Restart your computer. When your computer boots up, you will be able to switch the Bluetooth on off. Press Windows key plus R to launch Run. Now type CMD and then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter. Now type this command in Command Prompt window and then hit Enter to execute it. Wait for a while as the SFC scan will take a while. After the scanning process is complete, restart your computer. Wait for a while as the SFC scan will take a while if you face any error during the execution of the above mentioned command, copy and paste this command in Command Prompt window and hit Enter. Wait for a while as the SFC scan will take a while. 
After the scanning process is complete, restart your computer. After the computer boots up, again press Windows key plus R to launch Run, and then type CMD, and then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter. In Command Prompt window, copy and paste these commands one by one, and then hit Enter after each of these commands to execute them sequentially. Wait for a while as the DISM process also may take a while. Reboot your computer once you have run all the mentioned tests and scans. After rebooting the error should be fixed. Press Windows key plus R to launch run, type services.msc, and then hit enter. In services window, scroll down to find out Bluetooth support service, and right click on it, then click on restart. Double click on the Bluetooth Support Service to open its properties. Now, in the Bluetooth Support Service Properties window, click on Startup Type, and click on Automatic, and click on Start if it is not running, then click on Apply and OK to save the changes. Close Services window. Reboot your computer to let the changes take effect. Press Windows key plus R to open the Run window. In the Run window, type powercfg.cpl and then hit Enter. In the Power Options window, on the left-hand side, click on the Choose what the power buttons do. When the System Settings window appears, click on the Change settings that are currently unavailable. Now uncheck the option Turn on Fast Startup, recommended. Finally, click on Save Changes. At first, open a browser window on your computer, type Intel Bluetooth Driver for Windows 10 in the search box, and then hit Enter. In the Search Result window, click on Download Intel Wireless Bluetooth Driver for Windows 10. In the Available Downloads window, according to your CPU architecture, 32-bit or 64-bit, click on the appropriate Download button to download the driver. Double click on BT underscore 21, 90, 2 underscore 64 underscore Win 10 to start the installation process. Click on Next. Again, click on Next to proceed further. Finally, once the installation is done, click on Finish to complete the process. Reboot your computer. Press Windows key plus R to launch Run. Now type devmgmt.msc and hit enter. In Device Manager, expand Universal Serial Bus Controllers and then right-click on the first USB driver and click on Update Driver. Now click on Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software. Repeat the Step 2 and Step 3 for all the devices listed under Universal Serial Bus Controller and then restart your computer Press Windows key plus I to open Settings. Now scroll down and click on Update and Security. In Security and Privacy Settings, click on Recovery on the left pane. 
In the right pane, under the Recovery option, in Reset This PC, click on Get Started. In Rest This PC window, choose Keep My Files option. Now follow on-screen instructions to reset your computer. Resetting your computer will remove some applications and settings on your computer. But, the issue you are facing with Bluetooth will be fixed for sure. Your problem should be solved.